Hey y'all, so let's just go ahead and get started. We're doing a black tea rinse. It's great if you're dealing with shedding or hair loss, but quick note though, if you have low porosity hair, I wouldn't recommend doing a black tea rinse. More on that in a bit or check the description box for alternatives. What you'll need, plain old black tea, about four to five bags. It doesn't matter the brand, just make sure that it's just black tea. You'll also need a spray bottle and FYI, we'll be using a pot for our water and you also might need some clips for later. All right, so most tea bags are going to look like this. They'll come with a string and tag to help with steeping. I just gently pull the tag and string off so I'm just left with the bag. So I put a pot of water to boil and then I add the tea bags to the water. I used a little ladle to push the bag down a bit to help with the steeping and then yeah I just wait for the water to boil now let's get into the science a bit one of the main causes of hair loss is a hormone by the name of dihydrotestosterone or DHT for short what DHT does is it shrinks the hair follicle making it harder for the hair particularly the root to remain healthy so caffeine helps to block the effects of DHT while strengthening the hair follicle and stimulating hair growth all right now back to the tea after it's done boiling I set the pot aside to let it cool down I leave the tea bags in the water while it cools down down, and that way the caffeine is more potent. Once it's cooled down, I remove the tea bags and then pour the water into the spray bottle. And then it's on to the shower. So it's important to do the rinse on clean hair and scalp because we obviously want to get to the root of the problem. I've already clarified my hair. You could co-wash if you'd prefer, just make sure your scalp is clean. Then you just want to spray the tea onto your scalp. So what I did was I started from the bottom and I worked my way up, taking thin rows of hair at a time and spraying along the scalp. After spraying, I just massaged really well to get the tea all in there and then I moved on to the next section. So along with the benefits of strengthening the hair and preventing hair loss or shedding, a black tea rinse will also help boost shine. It'll also help to soften your hair, which means it'll make it more manageable. And when your hair is more manageable, you experience less breakage. Now, if you have low porosity hair, this rinse could be drying for you. So an alternative could be to use green tea, which has less caffeine, or decaffeinated tea. You could also just dilute your black tea by using more water and less bags of tea. Even if you're using more water, don't have the tea bags steeping for too long. All right, so after I've sprayed the tea all over my scalp, I do a final scalp massage with my scalp massaging shampoo brush, and then I cover my hair and let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. Don't worry, I got out of the shower for this. But when time was up, I came back and gently rinsed the tea from my scalp and hair and followed with a very important step using a deep conditioner. Although we're applying Applying caffeine to our scalp, it can run through the rest of our hair. That could dry it out a bit, so I want to replenish that moisture with a really good deep conditioner. I use the deep conditioner like normal, and that's really it. You can do this rinse about once every other week, and yeah, it's that easy. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in a comment below if you've ever done a black tea rinse, or if you plan on doing one. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love y'all, un besito, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!